Just one day, watch this man is colorful charade. No one can be just like me anyway. Just like fire. insert some of that footage in the very beginning of this video I hope you guys enjoyed that leg workout if you did be sure to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed that leg workout I'm gonna go ahead and get this video started so just getting home from the gym like I said and I'm about to make some breakfast so I'm gonna show you guys what I'm having for breakfast this morning all right so for breakfast today we are going to be having some Kodiak cakes topped with half a cup of strawberries we're gonna have one whole egg one egg white and then two pieces of center cut bacon. So I'm gonna go ahead and make that and I will show you guys the finished product. I will insert the macros for this breakfast on the screen here. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this and then I gotta get ready to go to work. So I will check back in with you guys a little bit later. It goes electric wavy when I turn it on. All through my city, all through my home. We're flying up those ceiling when we're in our zone. I got that sunshine in my 
everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed that leg workout and I hope you enjoyed that quick full day of eating. But now we're gonna go ahead and jump into this 22 week update. So let's get it started. So what size is baby B? At 22 weeks, baby B is as big as a coconut. She is 10.9 inches long and weighs 15.1 ounces. And let's go over a little other quick facts. So now that baby B's got more developed eyes and lips, she's looking even more like a newborn. Baby sleeping in cycles about 12 to 14 hours per day. And it says, hint, they are probably, they are probably those times you're not feeling any kicks. Um, some other things are that um, during month five, the average fetus measures about 10.5 to 11.8 inches and weighs about 12.7 to 20.8 ounces in five months. So every baby grows differently, every mom grows differently, so you never really know how big your baby is. Also, um, during week 22, baby is invading your space, which is why it might be tough to catch your breath and why your back might be killing you. Babies. Um, as baby grows, he or she may be expanding your belly so much so fast that you might have some stretch marks and you might have even found a, have a newfound Audi. And I will let you guys go ahead and I'll play some more footage and you guys can read the rest. Pause the screen, you can read the rest as well. Let's finish the update. All right, so weight gain i'm still 138 pounds this week so still a total of 10 pounds total weight gain so far so still right on track at 22 weeks workouts i'm still training four to five days a week in the gym um doing like 10 to 15 minute warm-ups of cardio either on the treadmill or the stairmaster um with the treadmill i usually do like a high incline walk so usually i do like incline 12 and walk at like speed four sometimes I can do 4.5 if I'm feeling really good that day but um, that's pretty much the speed I do on treadmill and on the stairs I'll warm up at like level five and then I'll go up to maybe sometimes even like level 10 on stairs um, another good thing about my workouts this week is that my strength has felt really good in the gym this week I felt really strong in the gym so I've been getting some extra reps um, in of some heavier weights that I feel like I haven't been able to do lately, but I've been able to push them out this week, so that's been really awesome. Maternity clothes, no maternity clothes. Stretch marks, I do have stretch marks, and those were from my previous pregnancy. I haven't seen any new ones, and I don't really know if I'll be able to tell, but still feel like there aren't any new stretch marks, but still stretch marks. Sleeping, um, sleep has been pretty good this week. Um, I have had some like restless nights, some nights where I found it a little hard for me to fall asleep, um, but pretty much still falling asleep. And I've been waking up like every morning at like 6 a.m., like 6.15, and then like can't go back to sleep. So that's been kind of sucky, but it's okay. It's a nice start to my day, get all my morning routine stuff done, like my meditation, my prayer, my reading, and all of that stuff done before I have to get up and out and take my daughter to school, get to the gym, and get my whole day started. So it's been nice actually waking up at 6 a.m. Best moment this week? Um, I would have to say best moment this week was Brandon and I started our baby registry. So we are going to have probably three total registries. Um, but we did start our Amazon registry. We do have like a lot of friends and family that don't live close so it'll be nice for them to just go ahead and hop on Amazon and then Amazon can just ship it straight to us. We'll also leave my Amazon registry below in the description if you guys want to you know send us something feel free. By all means you don't have to but if you're wanting to give the, this, the link is in the description box. Missing anything, not missing anything this week. Movement, yes lots and lots of movements. Movements are continuing to get stronger I'm starting to feel her more up top than just at the bottom. I feel her still more at the bottom, but I feel like she's moving all over the place now. Um, to whereas like she was staying like more to one side and like more towards the bottom, and now she's kind of like literally going everywhere. Cravings. This week I would say ice cream and sweets. I've really been wanting like candy, like ice cream, like cookies, like that's been the thing this week. So. Just having little bits and pieces in moderation because I don't want to go overboard, but I do give myself that little, you know, give into that craving when I do have it. Queasy or sick? No. 
gender baby B is a girl and there's only one of them only one girl labor signs no labor signs symptoms um, still being dizzy um, feeling like really clumsy like I know balance can become an issue during pregnancy and I'm definitely like experiencing like the balance issue because I'm feeling like super clumsy lately and like dropping things and just like just feeling off so those are the only two symptoms belly button in or out belly button is starting to pop out so it probably is gonna fully pop out we'll keep you guys updated on that but so far it is starting to pop out a little bit happy or moody um, I would definitely say happy don't feel like I've been very moody um, so yeah happy what are you looking forward to so I am looking forward to our doctor's appointment on Monday um, today I don't even know if I've told you guys today is June 6th so we have a doctor's appointment on Monday June 11th and excited because we haven't been to the doctors in like a while <clears throat> we did have like our 20 week anatomy scan on I believe it was May 11th but we hadn't seen like our actual OBGYN from like since like April so it'll be nice to go and make sure baby B is doing good and that we're still on track and what the next moves may be from here since we are about to hit six months next week so excited for that appointment we'll keep you guys updated on that appointment and if I can take you along with me I I surely will all right I'm gonna do a quick belly shot and that's gonna be it so Let's see what we're looking like at 22 weeks. All right, so this is what we look like from the front, from the side, this side, and then I'll show you guys here. So from the side, from this side, and from the front. All right, everybody, so I hope you guys enjoyed this 22-week update. Be sure to give this video a like if you did, and if you do give the video a like, it does help my channel out, so I would greatly appreciate it. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Make sure your post notifications are on, and yeah, I will see you guys next week for the 23-week update. Bye, everybody.